శ్రీమతి సుజాత ప్రసాద్ గారు డియర్ ఉదయ్ అండ్ ఆల్ ద డిగ్నిటరీస్ ఐ నెవర్ వర్క్ డైరెక్ట్లీ విత్ ప్రసాద్ రావు గారు ఐ నెవర్ హ్యాడ్ ది ఆపర్చునిటీ ఆర్ ఫార్చ్యూన్ టు వర్క్ విత్ హిమ్ డైరెక్ట్లీ బట్ ఐ ఆల్వేస్ కన్సిడర్ మై సెల్ఫ్ హ్యాస్ ఏకలవ్య శిష్య ఆఫ్ డాక్టర్ ప్రసాద్ రావు బికాస్ ఫర్ ఎనీ ఆఫ్ అస్ కెమిస్ హూ ఆర్ రిమోట్లీ ఈవెన్ రిమోట్లీ కన్సర్న్ విత్ కెటాలిసిస్ అండ్ ద ఫీల్డ్ ఆఫ్ కెటలిస్ ఫర్ అస్ డాక్టర్ ప్రసాద్ రావు ఈజ్ అన్ ఇండియన్ కల్ట్ ఫిగర్ అండ్ అన్ ఐకానిక్ ఫిగర్ సో దాట్స్ హౌ వీ యూస్ టు ట్రీట్ హిమ్ ఈవెన్ ఫ్రమ్ అవర్ కాలేజ్ డేస్ Uh, being an andhrite and uh, knowing that dr prasad rao is also from andhra uh, that used to give special inspiration in our hearts that uh, here is a figure whom we can follow whom we can uh, uh, follow his foots uh, footsteps uh, to grow up in the profession that you have chosen for yourself so he has always been a beacon light and a role model uh, for me uh, my first direct interaction with uh, prasad rao garu was uh, as a jury member and i was uh, making a presentation uh, in those days it used to be called as national management uh, uh, program npmp national management program uh, uh, it used to give annual awards for uh, the technologies uh, developed in the area of uh, petroleum field so i think it was in uh, 1998 um, we made an entry on uh, developing indigenous uh, marine lubricants and he was one of the jury members so i had all the tough time uh, to face him uh, to face a barrage of his questions though it was not uh, his direct field it was i mean i was presenting on lubricants and he is a man of catalysis but uh, the core scientist uh, in him uh, uh, has probed several aspects of the discovery and uh, you won't believe that uh, i made the presentation came back and uh, in the evening i i never know him no. he knows that i am from indian oil after that presentation i was from indian oil r and d and uh, in the evening i got a call from him uh how he got the number and i am too junior for him he is an iconic figure said that you did so well and uh, as a jury member i can't say anything more than this so uh, wait for some good news so uh, that was that was the kind of uh, mm, persona what uh, prasad rao garu was and from then onwards i think uh, he was uh, directing me guiding me interacting me interacting with me uh, on several occasions uh, in fact uh, i used to receive his elderly child uh, for on many things his one mantra to me was as i am growing up the ladder in the organization that uh, i should be aggressive in my approach uh, of both technology development and technology commercialization he used to uh, he used to use so many tips how to cut short the product development cycle and how to take forward uh, trl 7 technology to uh, trl 9 or the goal post so um, Uh, like uday said that uh, uh, we both have a commonality of being uh, alumni of andhra university so in his later day career and i think uh, as recent as 2 years or 3 years back he was asking me that as indian oil as the board member of indian oil you should uh, contribute for the cause of andhra university and uh, let there be a special chair of ioc Uh, set up in andhra university that's what uh, he used to advise me and um, i am extremely sad today not to that he is no more in physical uh, presence 
But uh, eventually Indian Oil set up a uh, chair, professorial chair in Andhra University. Just uh, this year, uh, uh, I couldn't share that uh, news with him, which m must have been, uh, must, uh, must have pleased him actually. In Delhi Telugu Academy here in Delhi also, in Delhi Telugu Sangam annual uh, functions, uh, uh, he used to be very active. Um, Recently, I was after uh, his departure. Uh, Anjan Ray uh, invited me uh, to be the foundation day speaker for Indian Institute of Petroleum uh, Dehradun. I was, in fact, on 14th April, I was in uh, Dehradun uh, to deliver uh, the foundation day lecture, and uh, very aptly, a uh, Dr. Anjan Ray named the Foundation Day lecture series from this year onwards as TSR Prasadarao uh, Memorial Lecture Series. And I had the great fortune of uh, delivering the first uh, uh, Dr. TSR Prasadarao's Foundation Day lecture series uh, in Dehradun in IAP. Uh, regarding his leadership in, uh, of uh, Indian Institute of Petroleum, Dehradun, um, Many of my seniors have just talked about how charismatic he was, how uh, aggressive he was, how transformational his leadership was for IAP. Till the time he assigned, as Dr. Malhotra was also mentioning, till the time he assigned the directorship of uh, uh, Indian Institute of Petroleum. Indian Institute of Petroleum is supposed to be the mother institute of uh, all petroleum uh, technology related institutions in this country. But along the way, I think uh, it started becoming a little quaint, if I may have to use that word. But I think uh, Dr. Prasada Rao's assuming the office as director of uh, Indian Institute of Petroleum has really galvanized and IIP could able to revisit and uh, revisit its past glory. And uh, it was again in the forefront. At that point of time, when I when I joined uh, uh, Indian Indian Oil R and D Center, some I I I'm from Roorkee, the then University of Roorkee, and many of my uh, colleague uh, scholars and students they joined uh, Indian Institute of Petroleum, Dehradun, and uh, I joined uh, Indian Oil R and D, and oftentimes we used to meet and exchange uh, the the functioning style of uh, respective institutes because we were young and we used to say aapki institute mein kaisa hota hai hamare institute both are r and d institutes so uh, as dr malhotra was mentioning even driver was mentioning about uh, the uh, benevolence of dr prasad rao i used to interact with my colleagues who were either uh, research scholars or maybe junior scientists in iip they used to go on and on uh, uh, singing peons about uh, their director though they were they were just scientists b or maybe uh, maybe senior research scholars but they used to say that he used to interact with them motivate them and he used to give the target that you deliver this you do this particular uh, if the result comes like this i'll see to it that i'll send you to this international conference that's the kind of uh, uh, target uh, he used to give um, so I think we'll be missing him as Uday said that uh, he may not be liking any of us uh, grieving so much or uh, uh, about his absence um, but nevertheless uh, we'll be filling the void after the dinner Uday uh, um, normally the usual complaint with me to Prasad Rao Garu was I, I was not talking to him quite often. That used to be his complaint. So I told you also, I think after coming back, after coming back, I called him and he was so almost we spoke about half an hour. He was so happy that uh, I could uh, meet you and your community in Houston and uh, um, discussed various uh, uh, possible and prospective collaborative ventures. And he had all the suggestions. And I couldn't believe when I got the news uh, just after two uh, two months that uh, uh, he's not anymore among us, uh, amongst ourselves. Um, 
in 2020 when dr prasada rao was awarded the lifetime achievement award of uh, uh, indian national academy of engineers i had the great fortune of receiving my fellowship uh on on the same year and we shared the same frame because it was not a physical function at the peak of the covid uh it was an online function where we were conferred with the fellowship i felt so fortunate that uh, uh i was in the same frame of uh, what my icon was uh who one who was receiving the uh, lifetime achievement award and i was elected as a fellow and both had the rare distinction as prasad garu was mentioning both of us are chemists no where near engineering and we could able to uh, g- g- get into that elite uh, engineering community so mm, i think uh, i have an eternal regret that uh, after assuming uh, the directorship of uh, indian oil r&d i kept on inviting him that uh, next time when you are in delhi by the time i think uh, he shifted to hyderabad or maybe his uh, stay in delhi was uh, limited so i used to invite him that whenever you are in delhi please let me know and uh, please come and visit our r&d center and uh, advise us on uh, uh, what more to be done and how the center is shaping up so that regret uh, remains with me for our that uh, he couldn't visit in my tenureship as director uh, of r&d so with these uh, some of these sweet memories uh, his work his guidance his spirit uh, his guidance uh, will always be there it will be all pervading uh, to all of us with these few words i once again um, pray lord almighty to grant uh, rightful place to dr t s r prasad rao in his heavenly abode thank you very much namaste